Hey guys, how you guys doing? It is Arnie back with another video, and today we're gonna take a look at Maple Story official blog, everybody. Maple is plus. So this blog, there are a lot of things over here, right? There are a lot of things over here. If you are a developer yourself or you want to know more about how uh, Maple Story actually takes in the background, this is actually the blog post that you need to read. Right. I'm not going to go through all of the blog posts. Uh, I'm just going to go through it a little bit on a summary of it yeah, because I read all of them already. Very, very well written over here. And uh, of course, they are all in Korean. So you need to use your trusty uh, translator over here. Uh, trust me, the translator or auto translator over here is actually pretty, pretty good. All right. So uh, we got to go through the first ones first real quick. Which will be the Maple Story Control Center, which will be the monitoring system. Uh, as you guys know, they actually track everything. Everything. Yes, I'm talking about everything. Every single one of the stuff that you do in Maple Story, they track it. Yes. Uh, if you want to know more, read this one, right? All is the link in the description below, so you can have a look at that. So, how do they monitor the system work? Well, they actually don't push it like directly in real time. They actually do it like in a catch base, right? In a catch system. So uh, the, the video is going to be a little bit technical for those of you guys who are not in technical base. So a lot of terms you might not really know. So yeah. Okay. So uh, lock work over here. They lock everything. So main, main thing they lock is like the mesos. So basically they track your mesos. Uh, over here, it's like who you give it to, what time, how much is it, and uh, Mesos trade count as well. So yeah, and they check everything. So they monitor any anomalies over here. If there's anything, they will basically send an email through the uh, yeah the anomaly detection system over here if they have any issues. Okay, and as well, they also monitor uh, logins, right? Basically. Anything over here that monitors the logins, any, anything that caused the lags of the server, this whole thing is being monitored. That's why in Korea, if there is any issues, they always, always, right, have a notice up very fast. Very fast, I tell you. If there is any issues that's been occurred, boom, that's it. You know, they, they always release stuff very fast. That's why the monitoring system over here is actually very important. And, uh, as you can see, there is where the abuse of the metal has been detected. Uh, they sell through the NPCs over here. You can see all the graph over here. Right? This is selling through NPC. You can read about more of that over here. Right? And they also detect memory leak through the system monitoring. I, I actually didn't know that they can do that. I actually did not know that they can actually do that over here. You can detect memory leak through the monitoring system. Like what? Okay, that's very interesting. I thought that was only on our PC over here. So. Yeah, they actually detect it. So they actually see that, okay, what's the working set over here, virtual memory over here, as you can see, uh, it's been added over there. And they detect it through like NPC objects, which is very interesting to read. They're like, okay, you can detect it through NPC object. Okay, interesting. So yeah, this is very interesting over here. And um, they also has an incident. Yeah, for those of you guys who don't know, KMS have an incident where the Luna Crystal in January 2021 was an issue over there where the probability uh, was actually not as being said. There was one thing that was missing or something. I, I forgot about that thing already. So they actually detected that and they directly changed it. It was really interesting, right? So this is how they actually do it. You can read more about that. This is just my summary of it. There are a lot of things over here that is really nice, okay? Uh, let's see. Yep, that, that's, that's basically it. So... Each and every one of the article, they also uh, written that who is actually being uh, doing this, all right? I mean, you have 11 years of experience over here. So moving on to the next one, um, I'm just going to go through the list over here. It's much easier. And Okay. Ah, okay. Now we go to the graphics. All right. Graphics over here. What intrigues me is that they actually have a very set specific criteria. Right, in, there's a new prototype over here. They they will go through it because they also mentioned, yeah, it's hard to develop prototypes because always you know in test server, it's very easy example will be Explore Remaster. People might not like it. People might like it, and uh, people might say it's not Maple Story. Yeah, this is why over here. So, it's it's always chicken and egg thing when you are developing a prototype and when you are going into the like uh so-called test server to the public, and you get feedback. 
and after that you go through another round of revisions which is on January 18th or the 20th they're gonna have another round of revisions of Explore Remaster then after that they need to go through a little bit more on the feedback as well then only push out to the official server I mean this is normally how a development works right but uh, this is more towards design right? design so detailed production everything over description everything so they have to do it and yeah how will graphics development in games in the 19 year process yes maple story is 19 years old right how are you going to keep up to date in terms of the design and etc so they actually had a uh, this is a very interesting uh development or so-called research light system you know light and dark system yeah they actually have this over here which is very nice you can turn it to the darkness of it and yeah, it's actually very nice to see, like a uh, morning and, and, and night mode, you know, yeah, which is very nice. And as well as uh, they talk about this um, training center over here, so where maps are adjust further for the development of the process, everything with the lights, everything you can see over there. This is, yeah, very interesting, you can see, yeah, this is like a, it's like a mod, you know, it, so-called training center is like a mod where you can basically test out all the lights over here yeah you can see these light things in the Gila um labyrinth of suffering hey <laughs> and uh contrast between three dimension moving objects okay so this is like the waterfall effect so how did they do the waterfall effect so you can see the mushroom chopping <laughs> it's actually very nice yeah they also show the tools that they actually used to do the the particles effect and uh it actually that shows how it looks like it is very interesting to see all this stuff because all this stuff we don't really see it in in anywhere you know unless you're working in maple story or, or you have an admin or you don't really see this over here so that's why this is actually very interesting to see you can see the particles effect moving as well uh, when the when it's blowing yeah these are all the things that is very very interesting to see and they also set a very uh uh, strict conditions right even even when players submit their design they also set a condition so those conditions might have to be met in order to be into the game of course it has to be pixel art and everything you can read more about that over here so yeah this is the uh, game client program over here for 17 years very long right moving on to the next one these are very technical stuff so if you are not really a technical person you might not really understand it so moving on yeah hacks and macros yes unauthorized programs how do they know it they actually use like uh you already know right crc check and yes and, uh, and yes hacking detected all that shit. yeah these are the things that we we always encounter when um the game thinks that we are hacking all right so macro defense so korea maple story actually did a very good job in actually mitigating or blocking out um macros right? there are a lot of boulders in the game last time demon avenger boulders to be exact boulders that are actually in latchelin every single one of the map they are there right so what they did is they implemented you can read more about that over here right the, the what they implemented a lot of things you see the mouse pattern detection everything over here the keyboard input detection they actually do all of this over here right i think most of the games does that as well and lie detectors lie detectors are one of the things that they improve a lot man with the lie detectors and 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 all this pattern detection they actually reduce boulders down to nearly i think i don't know right it's non-existence like legitly right the game is legitly bought free that i could really say right they actually do a lot of work on this one yeah light detectors it, this is like pretty difficult light detectors over here right rune auto uh this yeah this one the, the arrow shit you know the arrow shit oh my boy that is difficult holy shit man you already seen the arrow shit that turning turning one that i got and oh my god yeah that is actually really difficult they'll be improving on that and as well as yeah multi multi pc yeah uh and yeah also vpn they also check because of this yeah if you have multiple ips login in they will require you to re-verify your account which is in korea 
right? It will require you to re-verify your account. So that comes into consideration as well. Multi-account, yes. Of course, this one. And lie detectors, violet. Ah, uh, yeah, this one. Bro, I was like, what the hell is this shit? Uh, look at this shit. Let's look at this violet over here. Okay, look at this violet. Yeah, this is... The normal Violetta. Okay, this is normal Violetta that we use. Alright. Now. Normal one. Now uh, this is the insane one. <laughs> hey, look at look at this shit. Look at this shit. How the hell you gonna see it? How a bot would actually be able to detect it? I'm like, wait, what? Okay, wait, okay, it's here. Okay, and then here onwards, you don't even know where is it. How? Wait, what? Where did he go? <laughs> it is so difficult. This is this is this is crazy, bro. This is the insane, the highest difficulty. Yo, I I hope that you release this shit, man. I enjoy your life. Don't fuck off, man. It's crazy shit. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> okay, I don't think they released this one yet. Uh, uh this is the highest level, so I I, I don't think they release this one because uh yeah this is actually very difficult which is like crazy i never seen this before so yeah and uh there are more stuff over here enhanced monitoring over here we got log monitoring system user packet dump and yeah this is one this one we already know it yeah this one is is, is there for a very long time uh, automatic tracking system over here and uh hack mm, abuse bot detection trust room <laughs> yeah okay so yeah, the white room effect, yeah, so something like that, yeah, what else, mm, there's more stuff over here, you can read about that, so, yeah, that's basically it, so a lot of things over here, very technical, you can read about that, I'm not gonna go through it, and moving on, oh, what the heck, why is it, why is it so big, oh, it's category, ah, okay, okay, alright, content development, yes, so content development, they are very focused on the Guardian Angel slime. Yeah, because they they talk about how the uh, the Guardian wave will actually flows through and, and the uh, axes and falls through the direction of the y axis. It's very interesting and how it collides with the edge of the map and everything. So they actually uh, mod mod this in uh, the Lucid map. <laughs> So yeah, and it comes down, and it comes down over here, and then eventually implements it into the Guardian Angel map over there. So, uh, you can read more about that over here. It's a very concise of how they actually thought about this, and how that handles clients uh, from freezing, how they anticipate uh, all the problems over here that they're gonna solve, right? This is the article for you, okay? Moving on, next one. Now, it's also F ah, 64-bit, yes. Now, 64-bit client, for those of you guys who don't know, right, 32-bit has a limitation of 4GB RAM, regardless of MapleStory or whatever, right, it's 4GB RAM. So, some, in, it will be even lower. So, 64-bit, on the other hand, will utilize your RAM, right, your current RAM instead. That's why it's much, much more fluid in terms of uh, content loading, in terms of uh, just everything, right, it's just, it's just, Loading wise, it's just fluid, right? And you don't get like memory leak so much often, or maybe you never get it anymore, right? So last time in the first initial stage, that was the first time I got memory leak. Then after that, they fix it, and then it was all good already, all right? So there were problems over here, error fix, memory files. Yeah, these are all the things that they optimize because uh, in the first initial stage, they didn't really optimize it, and then. It was having a little bit of issue, but after that, when they optimized it, it was actually really good. So you can read more about this over here, alright? This is regarding the 64-bit uh, adoption journey. Now, now this is very interesting. Everything about database. Right? DBA is Database Administrator. So everything about database. Because, yes, as you mentioned, 19 years with 24 million players, alright? It is actually really interesting to see all the data. I mean, the data guy over here holds the key to everything. They can allegedly see everything, right? The logs, uh, even dead logs over here, right? And uh, whoa, whoa, integration. You know, last time they had a huge, huge whoa merge, merging 12 folds together. 
that was in KMS. That was really, really big. So they, I think they mentioned it over here. I read about it over here as well. So this is how the database works over here. And um, you can read about you can read about this over here as well. And then I think they mentioned about the 12th. 12th floor. Let me check. 12th. Yeah, there we go. This is one. Yeah, this is the case of there was a difficult experience when integrating multiple worlds at one. 12th integrate worlds at most. Right, it takes a long time. Yeah, there was a, a time where Maple Story, Korean Maple Story have a lot of worlds and merge all of them together into Luna, <laughs> which is the one that we are playing right now, which is this world over here. Luna. Hey, that's burning. Sorry. Yeah, Luna. The other, the other world over there. So, <laughs> so yeah, this is very, very, very interesting to read. If you are a uh, database analyst or database administrator, you'll be able to like, understand all this over here. Very interesting uh, to see how it works over here as well. And as well as there is a video about um, the developers, right? Um, talking about their work, their growth, their culture over here. It's in Korean, unfortunately, the video and um, yeah, it's a very long video. So yeah, that's basically it for the Maple Story Maple official blog. So now they are more focused on the tech. Yeah, because uh, it is more focused on the tech. So I think they're gonna make it a little bit more generic in terms of maybe they gotta add more of a design base or anything because now it's it's a lot focused on the tech. And they are also recruiting for uh more. De developers, yeah, technical developers, uh, database, you got application, web, system engineer. So, yeah, you can read more about that over here as well. If you know Korean, you can definitely apply. Of course, you need to know Korean, right? And uh, they have also a uh, very nice benefits over here that they actually show over here, right? Uh, it's pretty standard corporate stuff, right? Yeah, so you can see over here. So, yeah, that's basically it. So that's basically for the Maple Story official blog. There are a lot of things. Okay, if I want to go through each and every one of the article, it would take like three hours. <laughs> uh, yeah. So have a look at that. Right. See what they are they going through in their day process or how do they work? All right, how it makes Maple Story tick over here. Um. Pretty sure there will be more blog posts coming in and um, yeah, it's very interesting to read. I'm actually very excited to see all this information being uh, shared to MapleStory, right? So yeah, thank you very much for tuning in. I'll catch you guys in the next video. As always, leave a thumbs up, subscribe and stay awesome everybody and stay safe. Bye-bye.